Welcome back, Robert. For yeah, okay. Round. Yeah. Uh, our last session was interesting. So, thanks God we didn't have to face um, uh, much issues. So, when there was uh, one, uh, we f forget to put the user inside the uh, inside the list of uh, of in Azure Active Directory, which is absolutely okay. This is the standard uh, mistakes what we are doing when we are doing something on, the, on uh, in the, this integration scenarios. But today we want to go one step further. So now we have we established trust between two uh, identity management systems. So from one side, a business technology platform and on the other side, Azure Active Directory. So now we want to make a little bit more fun. True? Yeah, of so, course. Yeah, okay, okay, great. Not, not, not only do single sign-on, but also embed it into the client where we want to use the, the, the Launchpad service okay. yeah, from, from okay. SAP. And which client is what we, which client we would like to use? Uh, teams, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, kind of kind of boring to you, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so we uh, revisit the the blog post um, that we okay. used also la last time. Yeah? yeah. Great. So, like we achieved uh, also in the, in the recap. Yeah. So trust mm -hmm. check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what about embedding the service now? Yeah. So when we uh, go to a team session. Yeah. I'm signing in myself with that administrator. I hope if I don't have a session cookie from someone from other from another user. So there we go. That's the one. Okay, correct mm -hmm. user. So I'm using the the web client here now. Yeah, and um, now we're going to uh, identify just any channel where we can um, add. Our our cloud portal, yeah, or the, mm -hmm. the launchpad service. Mm -hmm. okay. The way to do this is you can just click add a tab. Mm -hmm. yeah. you have a generic website uh, application okay. that you can choose. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So we're calling this uh, BTP launchpad, for instance. Yeah? Okay. And in here we need to provide the URL. Yeah? Euro. Yeah, okay. I'm taking it from just, here. Okay, yeah. just copy it. Okay, okay. Yeah. This is really the, the generated URL that you get also from um, from, from the cloud portal. Yeah. So when you mm -hmm. when you go when you go here, um, mm -hmm. you move back one step uh, from from here. Okay. If you have subscribed to your Launchpad service. Mm -hmm. You can click the the link from here, yeah, just like this. To go to okay. application. Yeah, okay. And at this point already, it's uh, asking us, yeah, with with yeah, what okay. uh, so we want to authenticate. Yeah. And choosing my, yeah, okay. Choosing my uh, my S user with for the for the sub account. Mm -hmm. And then here you also find the link for go to site. Yeah, so that's the one we reused before. Okay. okay. Yeah. So this is the same one. Mm -hmm. And we're hitting save. Strange robot, isn't it? Yeah. So this is a. Let's say I want to put any kind of web page as a as an additional tab in in a Microsoft team. Everything is working perfectly. So is there any issue now with my BTP launchpad here, or everything is working without any issue? So I uh, think I think if I have something like a, a live tile or where I want to have a little bit more interaction here, then probably I should do some more configuration. Oh, correct. Uh, you could say that as well, yeah. Um, okay. But my point is, well, we tricked ourselves here. Yeah. Ah, okay. You remember the the, the blog yep. post is much yep. much longer. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, correct, correct, correct. In here we're talking about some strange settings, etc. Why why is that? Yeah. Yep. yep. Correct. That was my point. Yeah, I didn't understand that. So, can you explain me what we now need to do with that? Yeah. So in here, it just loaded yeah. because mm -hmm. we already here have a working session. Yeah. So you already have the session cookie. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Great point. Yeah, so okay. when you do this the first time and you're testing, maybe you think, oh, okay, I'm done. <laughs> so so Good let's point. log log out here. Sign out. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
might be that I need to use the browser developer tools to kill the session cookie properly. Yeah, I will see if this already helped. Uh, So let me, let me get my password. Yes, I want to stay signed in. Mm -hmm. So we had the same. Huh? Oh. Do you see that? Oh, OK. So of course we have, yeah, OK, we have an exception, but we don't uh, uh, see it here. So teams simply respond with, with uh, yeah. Message something's that wrong. he can't load something's wrong. Yeah. yeah, so let's get ourselves the developer tools. Okay. There we go. And mm -hmm. um, we trigger the, the, the error. So let's clear this yeah, so we don't go. And reload tab. Okay. Do you see that? Refuse to display. External oh, okay. options deny. Mm -hmm. So there's some some rules yeah, on the browsers from okay. enforced by Chrome that's prohibiting this kind of embedding now. Okay, this is, I think this is going in direction of, of security. So I want to be sure that everything what is somehow available, my iframe stay in my iframe. It's not somehow interacting or cross scripting between different sub iframes because this can be somehow security issue, correct? Like exactly. That. Okay. Exactly that. Yeah. So we need to tell um, SAP BGP that is totally fine to be embedded within Teams and that this is a trust where we set up. Okay. Yeah. So we are going back to the to the blog post. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in here we're talking about also a content security policy. Let's revisit that once we did the uh, the den deny issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is um, taken care of here. Yeah. So we go back into the settings, the security settings, even. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here we have a trusted domain table. Yeah. No. And you can maintain it from here with the uh, plus button in the UI. Uh, but yeah. back then, when I did this, uh, this was was not was not working properly. Yeah. So just to be sure, uh, let's use the CLI instead. Or the the REST API, you know, to see Okay. Okay. So I have here three um, defined um, API calls in Postman. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I need to do to continue is get myself a token so I can communicate with the with the REST API. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, this this is also published on the on the repo yeah, so that you can just import okay. into Postman and uh, start uh, using your own environment for this. Yeah? OK, so but in order to be able to do this, we need to have a specific um, application or in like, um, how do you call them, um, application deployed. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And the service type is authorization and trust management service, yeah, which you can just Deploy yourself, yeah, by when you hit create. Mm -hmm. Authorization and trust management service. Mm -hmm. In here, we, you need to choose API access okay. as a plan, yeah, so that you, you can mm -hmm. recreate the setup that we have, yeah. Mm -hmm. And once you have that, I'm choosing this one here, yeah. Mm -hmm. In order to be able to get a token from the service, you also mm -hmm. need a service key, yeah. And you can okay. also create it just from here. You give it a name and it generates your credentials. Yeah. Okay. And that's what I uh, moved over here. Yeah? On my authorization, I have my service key ID and the generated password in here. Yeah? All right. So we're running an OAuth client credentials flow and we want a token as a response. Okay. There we go. So this now generated my access token. Okay. And uh, on this test uh, part, this is post processing. Yeah, we are assigning the value of that access token here to this variable here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So next, let's check. So reusing the token. Yeah, let's check what the security settings for our API and sub accounts are. Yeah, and based on the token, um, even though this is generic, a, gen a generic URL, we will be directed to the right uh, 
application. Yeah? Mm -hmm. There we go. So this is telling us that no iframe domains mm -hmm. are maintained. Yeah. Okay. Which is the same thing we saw in, in the link. on the yeah. on the settings on the UI. Okay. Yeah. So nothing maintained. Okay. So in order to change this, we are sending a patch operation. Yeah. Where we're saying let's add teams.microsoft.com to the trusted domains. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So this is exactly this is exactly what I uh, mentioned that actually now telling the the the, the service on, on the SAP side, hey, it's okay if 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 uh, this address want to host that in, inside uh, your existing frame. So ignore that. So trust trust that application. So this is exactly what we are telling exactly. Here. Yeah, okay. And because I'm reusing the variables, I have already a valid token, yeah, and mm -hmm. I can just hit. Yeah, and set, set. it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 200k and the changed iframe domain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see if that impacted anything on mm -hmm. this end. So I have cache disabled. So let's see if this already helps. Reload tab. There we go. So this is from earlier. Or just let's get us a fresh, fresh window to, to double check. Mm -hmm. Looks quite good, wouldn't you say? Yeah. So let's get the console clear so that we see what happens next. Yeah. So now we need to choose which identity provider. Since we, we are aiming at a single sign-on from Teams, we want to do Azure AD, right? Mm -hmm. so there we go. Mm -hmm. That's quite easy, but I'm wondering now about the, uh, the CSP policy. Mm -hmm. For some reason, this is not not enforced. Hmm. We're somehow not passing through, so to say. Huh? Yeah, because when you look at the, at the blog post, yeah, we're also hmm. describing it here ah, um, okay. a okay. security header, yeah, which is hmm. by many browsers also enforced. Yeah, mm -hmm. because we did before, um, we took care. Um, the identity provider side on the sub account level. Yeah. yeah. So we we configured um, that we allow um, this this IDP uh, yeah. to be to be embedded, um, yeah. but also the the target application needs to allow this. Yeah. But I'm I'm wondering now why it didn't uh, enforce this part here yeah, on the security headers. So something must have changed in the meantime. Or it only happened for the cloud portal, and we are now using the Launchpad service. Yeah. Mm. Interesting, because in here I anticipated that we need to go here and maintain the, the security header. Well, it wouldn't hurt anyways. Yeah. But at the moment, still working. Okay, just to, to double check current setup. Let's. Sign up completely. Mm -hmm. I'm also clearing the application cache. Taken again the URL. Asking me about the end provider. We're choosing Azure ID. It's asking me for the user account. So this part works just as expected. Yeah. 
then we have the session lockout. Everyone, no, everyone, teams. Yeah. One, this is the one. Okay, now, now, now it wants for me the. Um, Multi-factor authentication. So, oh, okay. Let me just put it in private window again. Yeah, so I, this is probably. Um, yep. So it's the right user, but I still have session issues. Yeah, you saw the long list of users that I have there. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's use the private window as I said. Okay. Mm -hmm. so our design tab is the BTP launchpad that we defined before. Mm -hmm. Little developer tools to see if anything happens. So we anticipated that. We're choosing Azure AD. Still working. Okay, interesting. So I'll make I'll make a note then on the blog post. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is exactly what we are trying to do. You know, we don't try to pretend that everything is working. And of course, you know, we are not controlling what SAP colleagues are doing. And also, we are also on our side uh, are working in our test scenarios. Yeah. So we just need to discover what what is a problem here, or do we have a problem at all? Yeah? I don't think so. Yeah, the um, the only difference that uh, would be worth checking for me afterwards is mm -hmm. if there is a difference between uh, the Launchpad service mm -hmm. and the Cloud Portal. Yeah, because in here we did this for the Launchpad service now, mm -hmm. uh, but the Cloud Portal is very similar to this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, and let me show you. Uh, no, it's not in here, so it's not a marketplace then. Maybe I didn't subscribe to it yet. And I didn't. Okay, it's not cloud. Okay, in here it's called portal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is a service that's very similar to the Launchpad service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for the blog, I uh, worked with this one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but we saw before that even the security header settings and the navigation here is identical. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it seems like we discovered a difference. Yeah. And I will double check yeah. if this yeah. is actually. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Lesson learned <laughs> directly exactly. on, the, on the live. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Great. Yeah. So we, we went we through. So the second one. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Great. So so let's 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 take a break and prepare ourselves for next video. Thank you and till next time. Bye bye. See you then. Bye.